This is a very straightforward tutorial on how to generate OAuth tokens for your Unity prototypes that will allow you to add Twitch integration to them. And this is not only Twitch integration that involves reading chat, but this also involves reading bits, redeems, subs, and many other things. We will be using TwitchLib, but as a disclaimer before the video starts, you really should use this for prototyping only. If you want to generate your OAuth code the way that it's intended, you're going to have to follow the documentation on the Twitch Lib website, where it goes through how to do that through, I believe, Node.js. So use at your own discretion. Personally, I just use this method because I don't know how to do Node.js. I will be showing you how to set up everything you need for your secrets. And the secrets are strings that you need to pass through the code for Unity to properly interact with Twitch. Go to twitchtokengenerator.com and it's going to prompt you to create either a botchat token or a custom scope token. You can just click scope token. And then here you can see you must redirect the URL for your Twitch dev application to twitchgenerator.com, which is this website. So previously, this was not the case. And actually, in the tutorial linked in the Twitch lib documentation, it mentions that you will you need to make a bot in order for your app to interact with Twitch, but that's actually outdated. So the next thing you need to do is go to your Twitch developers account, go to your console and um, create a new application. So uh, let's call this tutorial for OAuth. And here where it says OAuth redirect URLs, that's what it's talking about here. You must redirect the URL to this website. So I'm just gonna copy paste that here. You need to copy two redirect URLs. The second one will be the localhost. If you don't copy this one as well, it's not gonna work. It's gonna give you a redirect error. Then select the category. Let's just say game integration. Confirm you're not a robot. And create that. Next, you're going to go to the manage section of the app you just registered, and it's going to give you a client ID. Copy paste that into the client ID portion of the website. Uh, you got to be careful here because these are swapped. The client ID is the second one here while it's the first one on the dev site. So be careful. Generate a secret. Copy and paste the secret. Then scroll down to the scopes, select all scopes. The scopes are important because if let's say you have um, read subscriptions disabled, as it will be default, disabled by default, it, you won't be able to read subscriptions in your Unity code. Generate token and copy and paste the generated IDs and all the token and everything into your secrets. And that's how you can link the OAuth token. Another thing, after you generate your token, it's going to prompt you to do the capture and everything again. Just go through that one more time. For the channel ID, there is a plugin you can download for your browser to easily get your ID. If you have any more questions at all, just paste them in the comment section. Or you can catch me live on Twitch. I always stream Saturday afternoons and just shoot me your question and I'll do my best to aid you if I can. Have a great day. See you next time. Toodaloo.